Hello students. Today in this lesson we will be studying about introduction of marketing and uh, the learning objectives are uh, introduction to marketing and uh, important uh, terms which we come across in this unit and uh, we will be discussing about uh, the nature scope and importance of marketing and uh, we will be studying about the significance of uh, marketing so first uh, let us uh, have an idea about the subject as uh, this subject is introduced in bba first semester students marketing management is the process of uh, performing business activities through management profit maximization and customer satisfaction are the two main objectives of uh, marketing management each and every company is encircled by an environment within which it has to carry out uh, all its uh, marketing activities environment uh, comprises of uh, various factors and forces which influence the company's uh, business uh, operations micro environment refer to those factors which are in close control of the company whereas macro environment refers to the external environment influencing the organization so now let us uh, have an idea about the various terms which we come across in this uh, unit marketing marketing management marketing according to e clark marketing consists of those efforts which affect transfer in ownership of goods and care for their physical distribution according to philip kotler marketing is analyzing planning and controlling of the firm's customer impinging resources policies activities with a view to satisfy the needs and wants of chosen customer groups at a profit marketing management is the combination of uh, two words marketing and management marketing management is the process of performing business activities through management profit maximization and customer satisfaction are the two main objectives of uh, marketing management now let us have an idea a brief idea about the functions of marketing we have three functions merchandising distribution supporting in merchandising we have a purchasing activity assembling activity and a selling activity when coming to the distribution function we have a transportation storage and warehousing activities they form the distribution function and uh, the third function is supporting function supporting function facilitate the marketing activities of the company uh, standardization pricing financing sales promotion market information advertising risk bearing and so on come under supporting functions of marketing now we come across a term by name marketing mix marketing mix is a mix of marketing components that are used by the company in achieving its marketing objectives these components can be considered as uh, 
marketing tools because they are used as a weapons for attaining success in marketing activities so we have the four piece concept piece of marketing mix focusing on target market customers as follows first one is product second place third promotion fourth one is price the first p of marketing mix is product it deals with producing the desired product for the target uh, customers product might include uh, tangible goods or intangible services or a mixture of both coming to place a product can be made available in the target market customers through distribution channels promotion the third p promotion is related to communicating with the target customers and other participants of the distribution channel regarding the product offered by the company so p stands for promotion so we have to uh, see that uh, the distribution channel which is offered by the company uh, reaches to the customer and for that uh, we have to promote it to the target uh, customers and uh, fourth one is uh, price we have to set the right price for the product and uh, we have to see that uh, it is uh, delivered to the customer with the help of uh, promotional uh, mix next uh, we have a term by name macro environment macro environment refers to the external environment influencing the organization the macro environmental factors cannot be controlled by the organization the various macro environmental factors influencing the company's marketing functions are demographic factors political factors legal factors economic factors social factors cultural factors competition technological factors etc and uh, next important one regarding the marketing process we call it as a four d's here the first d for design second one for development phase third one for delivery phase and fourth one for determination phase so in the marketing process the four d's play a very very important role in the design phase my products or services are designed based upon the needs and requirements of the customers so as to create a value for the product next uh, development phase in this marketing phase the organization develops the product or uh, service keeping in mind the needs and requirement of the end customers third phase delivery phase in this marketing phase the product or services which are designed and developed as per the requirements of the end users are actually delivered to them so that uh, they can utilize them and their uh, needs are uh, satisfied fourth phase fourth d stands for determination phase in this marketing phase the organization assesses and determines whether the product or service 
विच इट हैज डिजाइंड और डेवलप्ड और डिलीवर्ड हैड एक्चुअली सैटिस्फाइड द कस्टमर नीड्स इन केस द प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस डज नॉट सैटिस्फाई द नीड्स ऑफ द कस्टमर then the product is redesigned and redeveloped to deliver full value or full satisfaction to the consumer of the product uh, we have uh, another new term by name marketing myopia marketing myopia refers to the failure of management to recognize the actual scope of uh, organization's uh, business marketing myopia is uh, first uh, used by theodon levit in article during uh, 1960 for harvard business review according to theodon levit most of the organizations consider the marketing approach as only a tool of a selling a product and they should also look a marketing approach from a customer point of view majority of us we focus on the selling the product on the sales aspect we neglect the customer but we have to focus on the customer views also because of the marketers will be too narrow on selling products as such they miss potential opportunity to satisfy the customers usually myopia is created when too much attention is given towards product production or selling aspects as a result of this wrong understanding for the market or for nature of the business in which organization is engaged is created thus it may lead to collapse in the marketplace so here to overcome this uh, marketing myopia as you are focusing on the product production sales at the same time please concentrate on the customer when we think about the customer and his point of view definitely we can overcome this myopia and we can improve our market size or market uh, uh, can be developed very well next uh, we have uh, another uh, important term in this uh, unit uh, cross selling cross selling refers to the marketing activity where marketer offer additional products to the customers along with uh, other uh, purchases for example customer uh, purchases toys for his children while purchasing uh, clothes for himself and customer purchasing a digital camera with a memory card cross selling act as an important measure for increasing the revenues and profits uh, by selling additional products uh, to customers so when uh, we go to purchase uh, clothes if there are any toys uh, naturally the children they want to purchase toys also so cross selling will take place amazon uh, follows the cross selling strategy for different types of uh, similar products 35% of its products are controlled through cross selling strategy it displays the products uh, like customers who are buying uh, this item can also buy this or frequently bought together with this uh, product this will allow the customer to think about the displayed product which would be necessary to buy with the selected uh, product uh, next important term is uh, cross culture cross culture refers to the combination or uh, mix up of uh, multiple culture in the marketing environment it is one of the major uh, concept of uh, marketing cross cultural marketing can be defined as the application to decide to what degree the customers of two or more countries 
are alike or contrasting. This will help marketers to interpret the psychological, social and cultural aspects of foreign consumers which they wish to make a target. So as to design competent marketing strategies for each of the specific national markets engaged. Cross-cultural marketing involves high volume of risk. The world is a collection of several countries which possess their own cultural, environmental, political, legal and economic determinants. In other words, the world market is a dynamic one. In order to understand the dynamic markets of the world, it is essential to study the residents of the country, their living pattern, their feelings, uh, their uh, social behavior, the value system, their beliefs, their faith and uh, uh, other fancies, etc. Next important term is uh, global marketing. Global marketing refers to marketing done across various countries rather than just focusing on marketing in the home country. The firms involved in global marketing to market their products and services in foreign countries. The needs, uh, the needs, wants, preference and buying behavior of target customers differ from country to country and this makes the task of global marketing very difficult. Global marketing is the last stage in the process uh, internationalization of uh, business, internationalization of marketing. Today modern marketers are taking global marketing as a challenge because global marketing involves planning a marketing strategy which is applicable and acceptable to all countries. Selling concept. Selling concept uh, focuses on selling what the company has produced rather than producing products as per the needs and the requirements of the customer. Selling concept is usually applied to sell those products which consumers do not prefer using. For example, insurance, uh, encyclopedias, etc. Application of selling concepts involves use risk. Uh, the features of selling uh, concept uh, are as follows. It is uh, product oriented. Its objective is only to sell the products. It plans for short term goals and manufacturers uh, 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 produce products and uh, services to meet uh, the present uh, requirement. It focuses on manufacturing the products uh, uh, which can be sold by seller. Its goal is to achieve higher profits uh, through huge sales. So in the selling concept, uh, the manufacturer, he always uh, thinks about the how to increase his uh, sales. So all the time the focus is on uh, higher profits uh, through huge sales. Next uh, term here, uh, we come across uh, core marketing. The core marketing uh, concept involves needs, wants and demands, marketing offers, um, value, satisfaction, exchanges, transactions, relationships and markets. There is a close link between the core marketing concepts which can be clearly explained uh, um, by understanding the uh, what we call uh, the interlinked uh, terms okay the needs wants marketing offers uh, and the value satisfaction by the customer and uh, the what are the exchange transactions taking place and the market so these are the terms which we come across in this uh, unit now let us uh, have a clear understanding about uh, the marketing uh, nature, scope and importance of marketing. So we have a definition by uh, American Marketing Association. According to American Marketing Association, 
marketing is the activity set of institution and uh, processes for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers clients partners and society at large so it is a very clear definition so here we have customers we have clients we have society for them what is required what type of products are required for that as a marketing person the role of the marketing is to set a set an institution we have to process we have to create we have to communicate and uh, deliver such that uh, the product reaches the customer so this is the definition given by the american marketing association according to theodore levitt marketing is getting and keeping the customer so it's very simple definition as a marketing person it is we have to see that we have to get with the customer we have to keep the customer that is very important according to professor glaser marketing in a free economy is the skill of uh, selecting and fulfilling consumer desires so as to maximize the profitability per unit of capital employed in the enterprise so the professor glaser he defines marketing as the selecting and fulfilling consumer desires you have to satisfy the desires of the consumer at the same time you have to focus on the profitability per unit of capital employed in the enterprise coming to the nature of marketing we have a uh, uh, say some six points uh, let us uh, study the nature of marketing with the help of these uh, six points first important uh, point which we have to keep it in mind with respect to the nature of marketing is customer orientation the marketing concept focuses on customer which states that business process begins with uh, identifying the needs and wants of uh, the customer and ends with uh, satisfying them so you have to ide- identify the needs of the customer and you have to see that the needs are satisfied so it is all customer oriented business is seen from the customer's perspective in marketing concept all business activities are designed as per the needs and wants of the customer customers are placed at the central point and the entire business is constructed around them and next important point in nature of marketing is satisfaction of customer if company is uh, successful in satisfying customer needs then such efforts will result in customer satisfaction the company which uh, follows marketing concept must ensure that customer orientation results in uh, customer satisfaction customer satisfaction is considered as essential in the marketing concept the third important point which we have to think uh, when we refer to the nature of marketing is focus on profits the marketing concept focuses on achieving customer satisfaction it never ignores the significance of uh, generating uh, profits customer satisfaction will automatically increase the profit uh, levels of the organization the simple de- definition of marketing is an act of uh, profitability meeting the customer needs when you are able to n- satisfy the needs of the customer 
when customers are uh, showing interest towards the product or the service, naturally you can uh, uh, increase your sales and at the same time your profits will be multiplied. Coming to the fourth uh, uh, concept or fourth point uh, related to nature of marketing we have mutual benefit marketing provide mutual benefits to both the seller and buyer it makes the process of selling and buying easier that is simplify the exchange product uh, uh, process of goods and services in return of profit so here we both as a a seller and as a buyer both of them are getting benefited so the exchange product of goods and services in return of profit the fifth point of nature of marketing is profit and non-profit firms marketing is applicable and beneficial to profit as well as non-profit firms for example it helps to promote products of uh, any private uh, communication channel. It uh, helps uh, the charitable institutions. It helps uh, educational institutions. By means of uh, different uh, promotional uh, strategies. So whether it is a profit oriented company or non-profit oriented company the promotional strategies play a very very important role so it is applicable to benefit both the profit and non-profit uh, firms next uh, operational and value driven marketing is always operational and it is value driven by nature it not only helps to operate the business strategies but uh, provide value to business activities through efficient uh, efforts so this is regarding the nature of uh, marketing now let us focus on the scope of marketing the scope uh, we have around uh, nine points one by one in detail let us discuss and such that we can get uh, a overall idea about the scope of uh, marketing so we can explain all these nine points uh, with uh, a brief uh, introduction about that point with uh, one or two examples also first important uh, one with respect to scope of marketing is goods any physical product constitutes the goods of an organization Indian companies undertake the marketing of uh, cars trucks mission toys cosmetics etc electronic goods services intangible products are called uh, services in the modern economic scenario more and more people require services for the fulfillment of their needs as you all know we travel by train by travel by bus roadways we have travel by air so these airlines hotels hospitals salons beauticians accountants software programmers lawyers teachers engineers management consultants everyone they are providing service they provide service to the customer so these are all the products uh, intangible products or uh, services so the most of us we depend on the service sector when compared to the primary and secondary the tertiary sector service sector plays a very very significant role in the present uh, scenario coming to the third uh, point uh, with respect to scope events marketers promote events that assist the firm in marketing their products and services job fairs trade shows artistic performances and company anniversaries are some of the examples of uh, such events so events also play a very important role to know about the organization to know about the product or the services um, by the organization so the public can by attending such events uh, they can know about the organization they can know about the product and uh, services 
rendered by the organization. Persons. Celebrity marketing has become the trend of uh, modern business. CEOs, physicians, financiers and other professionals have adopted celebrity marketing to market their uh, products and services. Celebrity um, market themselves uh, uh, and become uh, brand ambassadors of various companies. Some of the brand ambassadors include Dhoni, we have Salman Khan, Amitabh Bachchan, Sachin Tendulkar, Shahrukh Khan. They will be appearing and uh, promoting and advertising and launching new products and services. Organizations, active involvement of the organizations in creating and building a strong, favorable and unique image in the minds of the target segment is the ultimate goal of successful marketing. This can be done by effectively formulating the mission statement of a company. Uh, for example, BSNL we have Connecting India, such that uh, it uh, by looking at the advertisement, by looking at the, we can uh, uh, understand by understanding the mission statement, uh, we can know about the organization. Next, uh, information. Information refers to the market uh, awareness basically provided by books, schools, universities which need to be processed, marketed and distributed. So, information by means of, uh, uh, say, uh, we can know about the scope of marketing only by, by, by means of books, okay? by we can know about uh, we can get awareness by attending schools and colleges universities by studying about the subject uh, we can understand the concept of uh, or the scope of the marketing next ideas a market offers constitutes a basic idea on which marketing activities are built the basic idea refers to the core uh, uh, basis uh, behind uh, the offerings. Idea of marketers reach customers in the form of a product or service. So any product or service we get some idea and it will be implemented and it will reach to the end customer. Next prospects. A marketer is a person who receives attention, uh, a vote, a donation by other party called as prospect. An individual with whom pros products services are exchanged by marketers. A prospect becomes a customer after buying production is called a prospect. So prospect in the sense the person, the customer buying the product, he becomes the prospect. Next practice. In practice the marketing aspect is not performed by the marketing department alone. Marketers must consider the various customer contact points such as store layouts, package designs, product functions, employee training, shipping, logistics, etc. Everything play a very, very important role in the practice. So the only marketing department can't do. We have different uh, ways in uh, uh, putting it into the practice. Now let us uh, concentrate on the significance of uh, marketing. The significance of marketing can be studied under importance of marketing to business organization, importance of marketing to society or non-business organization. Let us uh, first discuss uh, about the significance of marketing to the business organization. Later we can discuss about the significance of marketing to society or uh, non-business uh, organization. So when we focus on the business organization, uh, marketing system offers uh, uh, different variety of uh, benefits. See for example, uh, increases uh, company's profits, assists in planning and decision making, ensures free flow of communication. So one by one let us discuss uh, how the significance of marketing to the business organization. First uh, on the company's profits. Generating profits is the main objective of each and every business. An effectively designed marketing system assists the company in achieving such objectives by focusing on minimizing the selling cost and creating demand for the product through various 
promotional activities. Assist in planning and decision making. The marketing system assists the company in planning business activities and in taking various decisions pertaining to business. Um, say regarding the quantity of products uh, to be produced by the company, uh, demand and sales uh, forecast. Sales forecasting is a marketing activity. Marketing decisions are uh, surrounded by decisions of uh, other uh, functional areas such as uh, production, finance, purchasing, etc. And the third one is uh, free flow of communication. Marketing ensures a free flow of communication between the company and the society. The information related to cons uh, consumer taste, preferences, their behavior, their attitude, changes in the in uh, in changes in them can be gathered through marketing so as a, we can get the information apart from this information competitors can also be gathered through marketing marketing is also used to create awareness among the customers regarding the introduction of uh, new products so this is regarding the business organization how to increase the profits how to plan and de decide how to launch the product and how how about the communication okay so how to communicate with the society next is uh, we have the significance of marketing for non business organizations so here it generate uh, employment opportunities it uh, improves the national income it improves the standard of living uh, and it reduces the distribution cost it uh, uh, protects the society from uh, unfavorable uh, business cycles. So first point is uh, employment opportunities. In developed countries like uh, United States of America, Germany, Japan, many more, 40% of the population are employed in marketing activities like retailing, wholesale activities, transportation, warehousing, promotion activities, market research, etc. Even developing countries can minimize the unemployment rates by developing marketing activities in their countries. And uh, second important one is uh, national income, how to increase the national income. An effective marketing system enables the firm to increase production levels. The production levels of the country have to be increased to match up with the increasing demand. Higher the productive levels, uh, the higher will be the national income of the country. Next one is a uh, standard of living. Marketing involves identifying needs and wants of the customers and offers goods and services as per the needs of the customers. The pro this process will automatically increase the standard of living of the society. Next, uh, distribution cost, how to reduce it. Reduction in the distribution cost is one of the objectives of marketing. When distribution cost is reduced, the price of the product will automatically get reduced. The customers who cannot purchase the product uh, offered at higher prices can now uh, purchase the products as prices reduced due to reduction in the distribution cost. Next, this one uh, marketing uh, for non-business organization, uh, it protects uh, society from unfavorable uh, effects of a business cycle. A business has to face uh, a boom and a depression uh, stage in its uh, business cycle. In the depression stage, the uh, product uh, and the production level uh, goes down uh, to which unemployment level will be increasing an effectively designed uh, marketing system protects the society in the depression stage by introducing uh, new markets expanding the existing markets uh, minimizing the distribution cost enhancing the quality of the product uh, and uh, by ensuring uh, customer uh, orientation. So these are the uh, things which we have studied in uh, this uh, first lesson. So we have covered uh, uh, important uh, terms which we come across in this unit. We have uh, an idea about the nature, uh, scope and importance of marketing. With this uh, I conclude. Thank you very much.